Do you know how hard it is to grow as a content creator here on this platform? Whether you're streaming on Twitch or YouTube or TikTok, you have to constantly stay relevant and make content and constantly just be on platforms posting all the time. Yet despite doing everything that's on the content creator checklist, it is so hard to get people to notice you and to, well, check out any of your streams because, well, nobody cares about your content and it kind of feels like you're just getting unlucky or like the algorithm's not treating you right. And that sucks. How can I figure out what a viewer is thinking if I don't have any viewers to really ask? And while I was trying to find the answer to this question, I stumbled upon a really interesting post on the virtual YouTuber subreddit that I want to share with all of you today. And it says here, what makes you click on someone's self promo post in here? Whenever I check out this sub, there's usually a lot of I'm live right now posts. And I'm just wondering, do people actually tune into them? from here if so what makes you interested in checking someone's stream you haven't watched before after they post here now this mostly is talking about vtubers but if you just replace the word vtuber with like content creator you can pretty much apply the same rules that are being applied to this discussion here and i think this is really useful because these are actual viewers discussing what they like to see specifically on reddit when people are promoting their live streams or like what makes somebody want to click on a live stream all right let's take a look at the oh wait a second oopsies all right, now let's take a look at some of the comments here. An interesting and attractive model that doesn't look like everyone else's and or something that has interesting content that stands out from the other VTubers. There was a science VTuber a few days ago, for example. And then this person was replying how like they've worked on music and game dev in the past and they would do it again for content. And they're saying how like they don't know how to make good content yet. And then this person said like, well, you already have a cute model. So that's a good starter. And I find like that whole concept of like having a cute model to be interesting. Because if you think about it, there is so much emphasis. that I see a lot of YouTubers put on themselves to have a very attractive model. And it's interesting because there's this saying of like beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? So how can you tell if your model is either cute or sexy or handsome or pretty or like just attractive in general? And then there's also that whole question of like, okay, well, wait, what if it's not so much about like attractiveness, but it's like the essence of like the character? Because there are some like ugly models that do really well because they're supposed to be kind of ugly, right? So it makes me wonder, maybe it's not so much of like the hotness level that gets people to look at your model, but it's more like the overall attractiveness based on its like aesthetics, such as like your color palette, like because some colors subconsciously, they do not go well together. In fact, I have a members only video where I went over with my friend Iris, who is a professional artist, and she focuses mainly on color. And she was telling me a little bit about how humans don't exactly know when they see like an alchemation of colors and if they're ugly, just subconsciously, we know it's ugly. So that's why we don't like it or it's not really that appealing to us. There's a reason why certain colors just really complement each other and it makes it very attractive to look at. And I'm wondering if it's so much of like, you know, a combination of the color palette and then the shapes that are being shown in the model. So if you have like the right balance of shapes for your accessories, clothing, hair, and then even something like the overall concept. If the concept makes sense and it can be recognizable, I think that's kind of where the whole having a really interesting and attractive model comes from. Not so much of like, oh, just be pink and slap on big honker badonker boob. <laughs> I, I think that there is a lot of emphasis on attractiveness, but attractiveness is so vague that a lot of people don't know what is considered attractive. But if you look at a lot of like really popular anime character designs and even like VTubers are popular now, you can see some similarities in the sense of like, there's a good balance between different shapes. The colors really complement each other and it's super easy to figure out a little bit of like their personality or what they are, just by looking at them. I thought this comment was interesting too. A short or a clip or even just some meme. Something to give me a certain idea about you. I've become a regular watcher of a couple of people who I initially found on this subreddit. If the post contains a link to the stream and nothing else, I just keep stro scrolling. And that's so interesting because I've told VTubers numerous times in the past to like not just say, hey, I'm going live, come check me out. Cause it's like, would you want to check someone out like that? Huh, would you? Would you? Chances are, no, you don't. So why would anyone else want to check you out for that? You have to post like content. But here's something interesting about that particular content comment, because someone else has said this. And now this comment is a little wordy, but the comment down below is kind of like 
a good parallel to this comment here because of what they say down below. So just bear with me as I read this because there's several different layers of this that I think a lot of VTubers and just content creators in general never think about when they are posting on subreddit or subreddit when they're posting on Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, just anything. I think this comment is really interesting to look at. So it says here, I'll give both of what makes me click and what makes me skip. So the reality of posting live announcements on Reddit is that I'm usually not here looking for something to watch. I'm probably in the middle of doing something else and am in a moment of downtime. So there would be a need to be a decent appeal for me to put down what I am currently doing to go watch. And I think that is so fascinating because it's true. Think about why you go on social media and you're scrolling, right? Sometimes it's to kind of get inspiration, right? Or maybe, you know, you're bored and you're trying to get a little bit of entertainment because you're waiting in line at like Starbucks or something. Or maybe you are doom scrolling because you're very anxious and you just don't know what to do. So you need to do something. So you're just looking. When you're scrolling and you're just seeing like live announcements, you typically scroll past that unless unless it is something that really really catches your eye and now when you're making your going live post you have to ask yourself like okay if i'm only posting going live announcements and like no one's watching my streams maybe i need to take a step back and like just make other promotional materials so that way the next time i go stream I have something that's a bit more interesting to catch people's eye, or maybe I have to stream something that's a little bit more interesting than what I'm currently doing. I find that so fascinating how like a lot of streamers don't think about the person who is like scrolling on these social media platforms. They typically don't want to leave those platforms. They want content that's made for that platform, unless you have something so compelling that it makes them want to stop going on that platform and jump to the other one, which is your live stream. If I've seen a clip of there before that I found funny, I'm more likely to tune in. I don't really do cold visits, meaning I've never seen anything from them before, which makes a lot of sense unless it's for a good reason. But if I've seen a genuinely funny or interesting clip of content, then I'm enticed to check them out if I see a live announcement because that's brand recognition, everyone. That is... <laughs> That is literally brand recognition in like the purest form. It's like you've made people aware of who you are by posting great content on this platform. And now they're like, oh, you're live. Why don't I see what the live content's about? That's beautiful. I'm more likely to dip my toes into a funny clip than check out a stream. Conversely, if all I've seen a VTuber do is spam low effort picture with a question or a meme every single day, that almost guarantees that I'll roll my eyes and actively ignore their live announcement. A lot of YouTubers do that, and I truly believe it hurts them more than it helps. Daily content is good for an algorithm, but low effort spam isn't content. And the mind will retain that VTuber as a source of spam. Nothing wrong with doing that in your own dedicated space where people have already signed up for it, but spamming here has gotten some folks a block for me. And now when you combine this comment to the one that was down here, right? If it's just a link to the stream and nothing else, I keep scrolling. There's something, there's something here. There is something here. There's a reason why people are saying this. This isn't just some like weird coincidence and like these two are like the minority. This is the majority of viewers, people who you are trying to attract to watch your content. They don't want spam. And I find it so fascinating because there is this whole debate about like, well, I got to post daily because I got to stay relevant into the algorithm and I got to do this and I got to do that. I got to stay relevant, right? I got to, I got to make content. But it's interesting how a lot of like, quote unquote, content is considered spam to a lot of viewers. And I'm not saying your content is spam. This is what viewers are saying. And I feel like not kind of keeping this in the back of your head is what's preventing you from getting people to actually watch your content. Because, I mean, people like what they like, you know? If your content's not good enough for them, they're not going to watch it. That doesn't make you a bad content creator per se. It just means you need to improve yourself by keep posting, see what works. Okay, people don't like you posting a meme every single day. Okay, all right. If that's the case, then maybe instead of trying to post just a meme with just a very basic caption, try to get a little bit more creative about it. Maybe animate it or like put a more clever joke inside of it. Make it more interactive. Like there are so many different ways you can improve your content if people are not responding to it. Because here's the thing, you could have a lot of impressions and I think a lot of like creators really sleep on the whole impressions thing because if you're getting like over 100,000 impressions on a meme, like a very low effort meme, and you get maybe like 1% of that is being like likes and like comments or something, 
and you want more than that, that means that your meme got shown to a lot of people, but only 1% responded to it. So that means like some people did respond to it, but you missed all of the other 99% of people. And it's most likely because they didn't resonate with it. They didn't think it was funny. They didn't like it or thought it was spam. So how can you get that other 99% of people to want to watch your stuff? Well, you need to improve that meme. You need to make it better you need, or post something else that might interest them. And I find that so fascinating that like literally the subreddit that is meant for VTubers to go and promote their stuff. These are actual viewers telling you what they want. They are literally telling you what they want. And yet so many VTubers are still sitting here scratching their head wondering how to get people into their streams when these people are literally telling you what they want. Now, some of you might be wondering, okay, well, what's considered low effort? And so people were asking um, this person here and it's interesting to see like what they were saying is considered low effort. I can't give examples without explicitly outing individual VTubers, but there are running trends that many follow. One of them is using the exact same image every single time with just different text overlaid or even just a different title, especially if it's just the model. A slight change in expression isn't enough. A normal meme with one or two words or place in MS Paint with maybe a lazy cutout of the VTuber on top or trace images memes or generative AI content. The first two would be fine in moderation or in an abundance in a catered space for a VTuber, but not every day in a generalized VTubing venue. Because remember, this is like a general VTuber subreddit called virtual YouTubers. I don't buy the notion that VTubers do the first to just ask different questions every day. We all see what it really is. A lot of VTubers do it and it's always equally tiring to see. And it's interesting because what this person is saying is like, you can make this type of content, but this is all you post on like Reddit. Cause I also see this posted on Twitter too. I definitely see this posted. It's always the same thing or one VTuber will pop off with it. And then a ton of other VTubers will just copy that exact same meme. And that's kind of what makes it a trend, right? So you're sitting there asking yourself, okay, well, like if I can't post that, what can I post? And like they were saying, you can post this stuff, but you should also be posting other types of content too. That's why some people are saying, oh, like a meme, which is not super like generic, like putting a bit more effort into it, a short or a clip, a combination of just all of those different things makes somebody more likely to check you out. And this one will be the last one that I read because I think it's it also kind of ties in together with all of these points. Live announcements are useless for me as they are always 10 hours late, which is so interesting because that's so true. Literally live announcements. I, that's why I stopped posting live announcements on Twitter because I had realized, especially even on this subreddit too, I stopped doing it in general. The only time I post it now is in my Discord because every time when I do it, it's too late. The people who probably would have checked it out are not there. They're not chronically online 24 seven, looking at social media, waiting for me going live. Like they just, they miss it. Events can pique my interest if I'm in the mood for it. A good example would be an art stream announcement for, um, Chaut City Did I say that right? Chaut? Chaut? What the f is this? What does this word mean? Def it's trying to say it's chaotic. Is it Japanese? Oh no, it's an actual like VTuber. Chaut Si Zurui. Okay. Okay, it's it's someone's name. Okay, re reading's hard for me, okay? <laughs> reading's very hard for me. Um, from their agency, I would have never found her otherwise. Oh yeah, and wow, if I had just read a few moments. Reading's hard, you guys, all right? Horrible times, you no more, blah, 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 blah. I check a lot of debuts. When people announce them, I try to attend. And that makes a lot of sense. A lot of people like to attend debuts because it's a super exciting and interesting event, you know? A uh, debut is way more interesting to watch than playing a video game, which is so fascinating. And that's why so many VTubers are constantly debuting new things because they know people are more likely to want to check those out. But there are some people who've been talking about how they're getting tired of the VTubers like constantly doing that too. When I see fan art, a clip, a silly joke, etc., I'm far more engaged to check that person out. Sometimes I observe a couple of posts before clicking the links. When the person engages me, it doubles the chances. And in general, I prioritize design. Have something that makes you interesting and it will grab my attention. But that's just initial engagement. It's a lot harder to keep my attention going. And that's why I think this comment is so, so fascinating. It is a lot harder to keep people's attention after you initially got it. And I find that so fascinating because again, you have a lot of VTubers who are constantly debuting. And yeah, viewers get tired of it because if you're literally debuting 
a new outfit every single time it's like okay is that all you have like do you have nothing else to like show for your content is that like people get bored and i find that so fascinating because again like this isn't like me saying these are the rules and the laws of youtubing i'm simply observing what actual viewers are saying and presenting that information to you because i'm hoping it can help you become a well a more mindful creator when you're making content because at the end of the day what these people are talking about is value what kind of value is your content giving to these people if your value is only shiny object syndrome of course people are going to get bored if your value is like a oh okay it's just i i've seen this meme like 30 times today all right okay whatever it's only good when it's like the first like couple of youtubers who first do it right and that's kind of what makes trends so hard and that's why so many creators try to jump on those trends but at the end of the day it really just comes down to like value like does that mean providing value to someone maybe it is you won't know unless if you post it but if you see that it's not doing that well okay then maybe try something different maybe make the meme a little bit more interactive or try like something completely different like a clip if the clip isn't really getting a lot of interactions, okay, ask yourself, what about the clip is not getting interactions? One, is it getting impressions? Because if it's getting impressions, that means your clip was shown to people, okay? I do not want to hear in the comments of people being like, but I don't get any views at all. If you get views and impressions, but no one is liking or commenting, or the views don't seem as big in terms of the ratio of your impressions, that means people did see it, but they kept scrolling. And all of these comments that I had read, they all talked about having a good character design. And that is really hard to do. Like there's a reason why companies spend so much money on getting a decent design and like they still flop. And it's just an issue that everyone has because at the end of the day, what people find to be a good design and what people find to be attractive is very subjective. So I hope that this video could give you a little bit more insight when you're posting on either Reddit or it's just social media in general. Like this works for pretty much any types of platforms that you wanna make content on. So hopefully this can help you be more mindful. If you have any questions about like posting content or character designs or anything like the related to VTubers or content creation, let me know in the comments down below. And I wanted to say thank you so much to all of my YouTube members and Patreons for supporting me here on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, everything will remind you of something.